Booyah. Now where is the... Here we go. I feel like there's a boss coming.
to make tornadoes. I guess I should have known it wasn't going to be that easy. Blizzard is officially clear. Oh, we got a heart container for it. We got a Magatama piece. That was a good boss fight. That was a good boss fight. Tulin, my brave fledgling. I know that voice. It's you. You're the one who's been guiding us? Yes. I am your ancestor from a time long ago. I proudly Not just say that these cutscenes are king. fucking beautiful. I was a Rito warrior. And a sage with control of the wind. Where you fight, the winds follow. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You make me proud. That monster you defeated, the source of that intense blizzard, it was summoned by the Demon King. He thought it could stop you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret Stone? This is a lot to learn all of a sudden. I know. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. A tale of the imprisoning war. And the mission our people must accomplish.
Years ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, a great evil, the Demon King, descended on the land. Look, Ganondorf, there he, he is. You know he was going to pop up wrong, some damn weird. The first king of Hyrule requested my aid, as well as that of five help other the fighters. Raru entrusted us with amazing Secret artifacts. Stuff. Objects that amplified our formidable one to battle as the same. It seemed like the game going kind of fast. Thrilling to fight alongside my fellow sages. Yet we were still no match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. His magic was staggering, and I was unable to slip past his defenses, no matter how the hard end, I tried. King Raru realized that we would not be able to defeat the kind of quick, save our world. King Raru sacrificed himself and sealed the Demon King away. So that was the imprisoning war. Oh, he regulated it, so... <laughs> the rest that was kind of funny. That climactic battle. And I would soon receive a visitor with a request that would define the future of the Rito. It was another of the six sages. The Sage of Time. The Demon King will return. The magic binding him will be undone. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. Link will only succeed with the Rito's help. Summon the winds and support this hero. It was clear what part the Rito would play. It will be an honor to defeat the Demon King. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Rito Sage of Wind will awaken once and more. And you can count on the full support of the Rito. Okay, that's... That's not good. And now you know about the imprisoning war, and a mission I accepted on our behalf. And now the audio just went out. Doing my brief fledgling. I must take up my secret stone and honor the sage of time's request. Fight the demon king with the sword of Link. Okay, so why the hell did the voice just cut out? That's rich. So it's my mission. Oh, and I was to back. Fight the Demon King with you? Blink! This is so, so amazing! I can't believe my ancestor gave me such an important mission. And it involves fighting alongside you to save the world! If we don't do anything, then the world is going to be in big trouble. I can't let that happen. I'll do this. I'll happily take this secret stone. So does that mean he got a little a little piece of his arm back? I'll take that as a yes. We got a ring. Wait a minute, so does that mean we get to Oh that's fire. Ring to call on my power anytime, all right? Who 
Okay, let's head back to the village and tell Dad. Let's go back to the village and tell Dad. <laughs> Undoubtedly doodly. Undoodly diddly. Undoodly doodly. That was a cool cutscene. I wish the voiceovers didn't run into each other like that. Because that was just plain funny. That was funny. Still can't believe the Star One arc from the children's song was real. Me neither. You knocked me over with a feather. You could have knocked me over with a feather. Hmm. Good job well done, Tula. What? This bill meant so much to you, and now you're giving it to me? Hmm. It was always my intention to give it to you once you became a came of age as warrior. Came of age as a warrior. Thank you. I prove to you I'll become a war. Damn, it went so fast. Hmm. Hey, Link, that woman in the vision my ancestors showed us, didn't she look like the Princess Zelda to you? Do you think that was the real princess? I mean, it seemed like long ago, long, t long time ago, there's still a bunch of unanswered questions. I gotta know more about the figure we saw in the Stormwind arc, so I'm gonna look, go look into it personally. Next time you see me, I'll have more information on Princess Zelda. So check in with me sometime, okay? And remember, with my sage power, the two of us can keep working together no matter what. <sighs> Vow of Tula and Sage of Wind. Proof. Two in a Rito village. Okay. So we got that. Huck. So it's a couple things we gotta do. <laughs> oh, Geoglyphs. Ah. Oh, Link, we meet again. I came here to see a Geoglyph. Sadly, we were thwarted by the blizzard and grounded early. After it finally calmed down, we made our way to this village. We get, we plan to find. Have you, have you found your juggler from the Southern Harbor yet? The map in the temple. The map in the Forgotten Temple showed the geoglyph shaped like a castle. So we went and investigated that geoglyph as well. Alright, 
so now the blizzard is gone. She came to see a geoglyph, right? Hey! She, oh, hey. You're the one who helped Tuna save the village. Oh, you're oh. big for that. Now that the blizzards died down, we're stockpiling all the food and materials we used to have an abundance of. The others are all working together to, su to bring supplies to the village and managing the whole pieces from here. Speaking of which, Huck was supposed to bring some food and I haven't seen him. He told me he collects some food from Snowfield Stable in the Tabitha Tundra northeast from here. I hope nothing happened to him on his way back to the village. Oh, never mind me, I was just thinking about my friend who hasn't come back yet. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any spare food to be willing to part with, would you? Our food stockpiles look are looking healthier now that the blizzard stopped, but they can still be better. If you have any extra food, I'll be happy to trade you for some supplies. I could offer you ten arrows for three glowing cave fish. They're not hard to find if you look in caves. Oh, you don't have any right now? If you don't... Okay. Not bad. Find a shrine. Find huh? them all. Ah. Huh? King sugar. Find them all. Yes, yes, ma'am. She said she wanted. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know how to find a pond with the st with the Staminoka bass. You leave the village and cross the bridge. Problem is, I'm not a great swimmer. And I splash around so much that all the fish swim away. So even when the blizzard's all over, I probably still can't catch any Staminoka to scare them all. Staminoka bass, why is it so hard to get my hands on you? Right, we, we gotta check. Check this out, see if we can. The Kataka Shrine, we gotta see if we can. This one already? Wait, we did this one. So which one didn't we do? Well, we did this one.
check the Gazette, see if it's uh, see if it's available now. Seems like it. Oh, the tool, and I can't even use it. Mm. After the blizzard has passed, I'd like to repair the bridge so that our supplies can arrive. Sadly, we're not equipped for a major rebuilding project, but I've heard there were. Hylians who are skilled in construction. Say you're a Hylian, do you know anyone who can help? Mm. Well, sounds like you need a good carpenter. I know, what about that guy at Lookout Landing? <laughs> if he could build an incredible structure like that, I bet he'll have no problem fixing up your bridge. His name was, shoot, I don't know, but it ended in Sun. Ah. Fantastic, it sounds like you're up to the chance. However, I can't leave the village right now with my defense duties. I have to dispatch an emissary to look out. Mm. Listen, who everyone's so busy? Well, oh, we know exactly who to send. Me. to head to Gotta find Jason.
Joshua. Oh, that's a final thing. Huh? Every desire. Poor told me everything. Probably hand or pad development. That's true, you got your hand on the poor pad. Poor and I work together on the design, but I'm the one who puts it together, you know. We should call Robbie, call it the Robbie pad, technically speaking. Uh -huh. Oh, God, because you've been listening to me. Oh, gosh. Hey, sorry, you were saying? I was saying I want to go investigate the deaths. Look, if you are not going to listen to me, I'll go jump in the chasm myself. No way, no how. You can't do that. The deaths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only be barely begun looking into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms? But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow a, our young prodigy to go watering, wandering around somewhere so unknown and foul and so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'll be the end for me, the end. But I need more on that figure. If we, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out the conversation, Josh. We can go to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from the, from the deaths. The piece, the piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that the figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Hmm. That's why I want to go down there. So I'll see. So I can see if there's any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. But Google's hair says too dangerous and he won't let me go. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can find anything about the figure or that sleep. Link, will you join me? We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the sleep. Assuming we find what, what we're looking for. We'll use your poor pads camera to take a picture with Joshua. If you don't know about the camera, it's the one on the poor pads basic feature. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, the one stored on your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the poor pad. Well, I'll teach you how to take pictures down there. There'll be lots of monsters in the depth, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go ahead once you once you're ready and raring to go. Come find me there. Ta-da! What? Wait, hang on. Huh. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry I got you roped into all this swordsman. Goggles means well, but he wants to help me. Yeah. He leaps before he looks. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. I want to take this too. Chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface, so pitch black, the bright blue sea, yeah. You want to go straight out, look out landing, southern gate, and you'll find chasm goggles used. I don't know about the counter camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring pictures over. Please look out the goggles for me. Main objective. But first, we got to find this guy named Sun. Kitchen. Okay, nobody down here. Hmm? What's worth? Must be Link, am I right? Perez told me so much about you. I'm a warts worth. My research specialty is ancient oh. Hyrulean. stone tablet that fell from the sky inscribed with ancient Harleen. I can imagine that if I can imagine or translate the text it may be key to understanding a moment in time from ancient Hyrule. Oh. 
to translate this from the ancient Hyrulean. My notes are back at the research lab in Kakariko Village. So I'll be heading there to check this text against my notes and proceed with the translation. I've already copied down what's inscribed here, so I'll be heading back to the village. Mm -hmm. so that, uh, wait, you should come to Kakariko Village so I can share what I've translated uh -huh. so far. Fits perfectly. Oh. Thanks for helping out. I was having a hard time figuring out how to f fit it in. With the roof done, all that's left is to add the finishing touches, and I'll get cracking. Uh -huh. Quick blink. Carson, he's the one who needs. <laughs> So this is the guy we gotta get to get to the bridge. <laughs> ah. How's that? Ah. I find like a stable. I'm saying, considering you're Hudson's construction number one. Hmm. Thanks. It looks great too. If you need help with the horses, please talk to me anytime. I don't need help with horses. Sounds easy enough. I heard it fell apart during the bridge. If they're looking for someone to fix it, that's strange. But ah. it's dying down. Well then, great. No time to gab. I'll have that bridge looking good as new in less than no time. What was this thing? Shakala, you can see me, can't you? Let me tell you, I'm from Kor Korok Forest up north. I'm a musician and. My happy place is my is playing my maracas and dancing. I left the forest to do some traveling, but things have gotten pretty wild lately. And that's why I stopped at a safe place with lots of people around. But I'm getting bored just standing here. Do you want to see me dance before you go? Hang on, something's wrong with my maracas. The cork seeds are all gone. Am I supposed to, the children of the forest must have taken them again. If I had even one cork seed, I could sing and dance. Make your inventory bigger. Well, there we go. I don't have no Korok seeds. Like none. I sworn I had some of those seeds. Just head back to Rito Village.
I think this is the bridge. doing our Korok Seas. What the hell is he talking about? I like five of those Korok Seas. What the hell is he talking about? We're gonna go back to that village. We're gonna talk to that guy again. I sat there in line and said I didn't have no Korok seed. Just the hell I did. I had seven of them. This shit is just like situational. Because clearly I can't do nothing with it right now. Aww. Sorry, Carson. I wish we had more supplies. Uh, this is my fault, not yours. I was. I was too rosy with my estimates. Ah. I don't think I think it's about the bridge building job. We had a bit of a snag. See, the thing is, on the worst shape that I encounter for. Ah. Carson is short and 20 pieces of wood, is that right? Ah. Yeah, we may be able to get what we need by chopping down the trees, but that'll be a whole project itself. 20 pieces of wood. Tuna is now granted you the power to summon his avatar. Or oh, this thing is situational. Something must be down there. Look like something's down there. I'm trying to get this wood though. Pause.
16, four more. So uh, tentacle. What am I supposed to mean? This must have been a real pain. Ah. Oh. Guess it's time to fix this busted bridge. We can actually see what he was doing. And dude started making karate chops and Power Ranger sounds. Oh. Uh. that done, life in Rito should return to something like normal. I'll take responsibility for guarding the bridge. Please accept this gift. Silver rupee. I had the money set aside for repairing the bridge, but I hope you'll use get some use out of it. Oh. With that, I'm off to look out landing. Sonny, if you ever need my help, just say the word and I'll come running, no problem. Huh. 